Hello everyone, and welcome to my playthrough of The Secret of Monkey Island. Actually, me and the two friends just started doing a playthrough of um, the new Return to Monkey Island. And that actually inspired me to say, actually, I, it's such a long time since I've played these games. I want to go back and play them again. And then I thought, why not actually record it while I do it? And so we can play it together in, in a way. So uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it. My name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, Go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right. Thanks. And just like that, we're off with part one, the three trials. So that is basically how it starts. Guybrush Three Boots just arrives out of nowhere with an ambition to become a pirate. And um, yeah, I didn't want to interrupt over the opening melody. I think the theme for this game is, uh, is one of my favorites. I, as I mentioned in the beginning, I've played this game several times um i've completed it several times as well um but it is many 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 moons ago it's a point and click adventure game and one of the things that i really adore about monkey island is actually i think it was one of the breaking points when they really started to do adventure gaming right uh, it is almost impossible to die in this game there was something that was very prevalent around that era it was it came out in 1990 um and secondly, it's, so it's m much more about, you know, exploring. And what I also really enjoy is that it's extremely clear on what it is you need to do. Now, how to do it, that's the challenge. But, I mean, right now, okay, you've just arrived. Round, we need to go and talk to the pirate leaders because, yeah, hey, we want to become a pirate. So, let's do so. There's a poster over here. Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one candidate, there's only one choice. Yeah, another thing I really like is the voice acting of the game. It's uh, Dominic Amano as Skybird Threepwood. He was the guy that put the voice. Yeah, this game is beautiful. Oh, there's actually a way where I can actually change it back to the old graphics. How is it I do that? Controls. 
Yes, F10. Version hot swap. Okay. So, this is what the game looked like back then. So, it's actually running on the same engine as uh, as the other one. Uh, so Sorry, the, the new game is running on the same engine as, as the old game. So, um, so, you can actually switch in between them. I'm probably going to do that a few times. But, let's not dilly-dally anymore. Let's go to the Scumba! There it was. Let's see if we can find the pirate leaders. Oh, look at this. Let's talk to this guy. Ahoy there, stranger. Ahoy. New in town? Uh, I'm new in town. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> <laughs> That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Let's ask what his name is. Well, what's your name? My name is Mancomb Seapgood. So, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? Well, I want to be a pirate. I want to be a pirate. Oh, really? You should go talk to the important-looking pirates in the next room. Right. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. All right. Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley. Her mansion is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. Ooh. I'm welcome everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. <laughs> Whatever you say, just watch out for those guard dogs. Uh oh, looks like my grog is going flat. So you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Have fun on Melee Island. All right. Yeah, we need to go talk to the pirate leaders. But hey, let's let's see what's on. What, what this guy has to say. For? Let's introduce ourselves. I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Guybrush. Yeah. So what? <laughs> yeah, let's ask for the dartboard. Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? Well, we don't have one here. There was a horrible accident. Drinking the darts don't mix. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way. That's what it looks to look like. Uh, why aren't pirates welcome at governor's house? Welcome at the governor's house. Because of LeChuck, that's why. Oh, LeChuck. He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did, and then things really got ugly. Let's... Ask about how what's so scary about this what's LeChuck so scary guy. Scary about this LeChuck guy. LeChuck was a fearsome pirate. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship. We were no survivors. We thought that, that was the end of the fearsome pirate LeChuck. We were wrong. Oh. What happened, what happened then? then? He still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That is why we are all in here and not out pirating. Okay. What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens. But... <laughs> hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. Where can I get a drink? A drink? You can wait for the cook to notice you. But that would take all day. Just find the mug and sneak into the kitchen. That is what we all do. Look, uh, this whole LeChuck thing has me pretty shaken up. So, uh, if you don't mind. Right. So we need to go to the pirate readers, and we have gotten told that there is a... Uh, 
ghost pirate called the Chuck sailing the waters and wreaking havoc. Let's go talk to this guy. Hi. Hi. Ask me about Loom. <laughs> this is a good one. Hi yourself. Hi. Nice hat. It Hi. is a nice hat. It is a very nice hat. So okay. So, tell me about Loom. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects, not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects and magic spells <laughs> beat the rush go out and buy loom today jeez what an obvious sales pitch sorry but on some topics i just get carried away <laughs> <laughs> nice talking to you oh it's Bye. brilliant loom is uh, a game that came out prior to uh, to Monkey Island, and it became somewhat of a staple to have some sort of in-game commercial about the other one, and it's, it's super blatant with this guy. Let's fucking see, by the way, I think I need to put my camera up here. Yeah, I think that's better. Yes! You can see what's going on, because there's a dog down here. Let's go have a talk with him. Woof. Woof. <laughs> okay. All right, Spiffy. Yeah, I think the dog is actually trying to tell the same story as the other pirates, but um, that's it. All right, let's go to um, to the other end of the bar. And there we have the, well, we can only assume the pirate leaders. Let's have a talk with them so we can become a pirate. I want to be a fireman. I want to be a fireman. lost, boy. You bother us. It's so stupid. Um, this game was uh, developed by uh, by Ron Gilbert. He's the main designer of it uh, and everything. But uh, I, I guess the big part of the humor also comes from um, Tim Schafer, who was one of the game designers as well, and Dave Grossman. Those two were just comedic genius that actually makes the game so extremely funny. So uh, that's good. But, okay, we don't want to be a fireman. Maybe let's try with pirate instead. I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this holy chuck thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag. And no swag means no grog. And we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Oh. Well, <laughs> all right. But you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the three trials. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword, mm -hmm. and the art of thievery, mm -hmm. and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Sword play, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. 
All right. And then he must drink grog with us. Grog! <laughs> All right. Let's ask what is in that grog stuff anyway that everyone is drinking. What's in that grog stuff anyway? Grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following. Kerosene, propylene glycol, artificial sweeteners, sulfuric acid, Rum. Acetone. Red dye number two. Scum. Axle grease. Battery acid. And or pepperoni. As you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic, volatile substances known to man. <sighs> the stuff eats right through these mugs, and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is so stupid. Let's uh, hear a little bit more about the three trials. Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get here, your sword. Check. You must seek out and defeat the sword, master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh, you want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master without any training. <laughs> 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 All right, and Tell me theft. More about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands in the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands. In the display case in the mansion outside the town. Right. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. Kai, they're a particularly vicious boy. They might be able to drug him or something. Okay. And then treasure hunting. More about treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Haley and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? Well, you can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. That's how and it don't works. Forget, X marks the spot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A bunch of foul smelling grog swilling pigs. To be a pirate. You must also be a foul-smelling, grog-swilling pig. All right. I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. So yet again, our quest is set. We need to go and master the sword, master theft, and find buried treasure. But right now, I want to go into the kitchen. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the cook to come out. He does that from time to time. So if I open the door now. Hey, you can't come back here. So we wait. Just a little bit. And while we wait, this is um, again what I meant to say is now it's extremely clear what I need to do. There we go. Close the door. Good. So it's really clear what I need to do. Now, um, uh, now it's just a matter of doing it. So there's a barrel there. So this is grok, but we'll leave that for now. Let's take the. It's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. Yeah, and I would like to take. Some sort of meat or meat-like substance. It's some sort of meat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get it. How do I actually? Ah, there we go. So I will take it, which is this one. I'll take the hunk of meat. I will take... Can I maybe... If I hold this... Okay, that's, that was fine. And then I want to take the meat from the inventory. It doesn't seem to open. I want to take the meat. It's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. Okay, I need to figure out this interface. I want to use the hunk of meat with the pot of stew. Whoop. 
And while it's cooking, I'm gonna open the door and I wanna pick up this uh, thing. I can't really do it. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Yeah, but we can step on this board. And we can do it again. And then we can do it again. And that should give us enough time to pick up the fish. Excellent. Now let's. There's a meat and stew. Let's pick it up. Ow! Got it! Right. So we have some stewed meat, a pot, fish. Nice. All right. We're off for a good start. We have a few items. We have a quest. So let's leave this place and explore the town. Meanwhile, oh. deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Check the music. Captain LeChuck, sir. I... There's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> we are glad to be dead. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. <laughs> I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship that murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. <laughs> That's true. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bothered you with it. <laughs> I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Chuck, the villain of our story. We have yet to meet him, so well, here we go. So this is the town. There's a citizen of Millie. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named? Sven? No, but once I had a barber named Dominique. No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Close enough. <laughs> Let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Absolutely. Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. Ah, that's a little more. I don't have I don't enough know, money. Thanks. I don't have enough money. Well then, buzz off, kid. It's bad for business. All right. Well, let's walk over here and talk to the men of low moral fiber. With a nice rat. Hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? Uh. <laughs> yes, especially in a light wine sauce. <laughs> Get away! Let's talk about them again. Do you guys know the sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? Wanna buy a map, eh? Our maps are top quality. Not like the bird-caged liners you get from that clown across the street. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> These are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA. <laughs> Can't even <laughs> give them away. <laughs> Want one? 
Yeah, if they give me money. No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Say, are you guys pirates? No, we're a wandering circus troupe. <laughs> but this rat scares away the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Of course we're pirates. You can't buy clothes like these off the rack. What do you want? Uh. Yeah, why aren't they here? Why not on the ship? How come you're on this street corner and not on a ship? Looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing. Well, pirating hasn't been panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating out of Monkey Island. So we've been pursuing alternate means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. It was working out well, until the rats scared off the elephant. <laughs> now you've depressed us. Go home. Well, all right. We got two pieces of eight and the minutes. There sure are a lot of spelling errors. <laughs> Let's open the the door here. Okay, this looks interesting. Well, what well, well. May I help you with son? The voodoo lady. Wait. Don't say anything. <laughs> I can sense your name is is Guybrush. Guybrush nose hair. <laughs> three food. Guybrush three food. Am I not right? That was just a lucky guess. <laughs> Guybrush nose hair. Lucky guess. Half the people I know are named Guybrush. I suggest you open your mind. It will help you in your coming journey. So, my mind reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yeah. Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen to me. I am getting a vision. Ooh. I see you taking a voyage, a long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah. I see. What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes. I see you inside the giant monkey. Oh, oh. gross. Wait. It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No, the time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Yikes. Ooh. Well, we have a chicken here. Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. A rubber chicken with what a pulley in the middle. What possible use could that have? That is well, probably one of those important things in the world. Let's Maybe take it. Maybe no one will miss just this one thing. Jealous? Now this is the cup of a carpenter. <laughs> That's true. Can we take it? No. Let's just leave this place. Like, and all the other doors just brings me out another place. Ten o'clock. And it's always ten o'clock. Let's move on. So here we have the shop. Ahoy there, fancy pants. Ahoy there. What do you want? 
No, I think I'd just like to browse. So maybe he can... Okay. Wake me up if you need anything. <laughs> Actually, Fight a lot. Maybe he knows the Swordmaster. I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. Oh, that was lucky. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. And don't touch anything. Promise. Well, there's a sword. Let's take it. And there's a shovel. Let's take that as well. And then leave. Oh. Looking for a sword master, are ya? Looking for a little five finger discount, it looks like to me. See if I ever trust you again, devious little shoplifting weasel boy. Ah. Too Maybe bad. you'd like to pay for those. Uh about this sword. Yeah, what about it? How, How much, much is it? That's a hundred pieces of eight. Take it or leave it. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. Figures. Yeah, we need definitely need some money. Now, how else do you want to waste my time? Yeah, well. About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? How much is it? Oh, another would-be treasure hunter, eh? That'll cost you 75 pieces of eight. Okay, so we need 275 pieces of eight. Then you better go put it back. So we definitely need some money, that's for sure. But I happen to know where we can get some. But let's just explore the town a little bit more. Is there something here that maybe you can afford? <laughs> yeah, I think I'd just like to browse. Let's just browse. Hey, this ain't no boutique. Don't take all day. Very well. I think there's someone who wants to talk to us in the alley. Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. Mm -hmm. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. <laughs> Is there something back in here, too? No. I'd better get your name. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Listen, Peepwood. <laughs> Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take <laughs> it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. Yeah. There's a poster there. Oh, a circus. I love a circus. Ooh, a circus. I love a circus. <laughs> <laughs> employees only. And that's employees only. So let's just leave here again. Let's look at the church. Looks very churchy. And the prison. Let's have a talk to this guy. You gotta get me out of here! I'm a victim of society! Not to mention halitosis. Ugh. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. 
Okay, so we can't talk to him because he smells too much out of his mouth. Very well. Let's move on. So what do we have up here? That has to be the governor's mansion. Governor's mansion. Deadly piranha poodles. I don't think I can get past that. No. Nope. So we need some way of get rid of the poodles. We need a lot of money, and we need something to help the prisoner with his breath. Maybe the shopkeeper has that. I've got my eye on you, boy. Very well. Steal anything and I break your legs. What do you want? I could really use a breath mint. Huh, you're telling me. <laughs> Here, take one. Please. Take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. That I have. What else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Okay, but don't put your lips on anything. Good. That means that we can now go to the prisoner and give him some breath mints. So give breath mints to prisoner. Oh, Grago Mint. How refreshing. Thanks. So, have you come to release me? Who are you? My name is Ores. Elite, I think it is. I've been in here so long, I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely. Can't you see? I'm innocent. But why are you in jail if you're innocent? Yeah. I was framed. I didn't touch the stupid flowers. What flowers? What flowers? The jello conish in dormi flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. Oh. So there's illegal yellow flowers in the forest. That's good to know. So, uh, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Sloth, grog, gruel, rats, bugs, and body lice, if I can catch them. I have a <laughs> carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cookie at the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food, like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips. But once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. What was so odd about the rump roast? Well, it's the only rump roast I ever seen with a prehensile tail. <laughs> That's so weird. So who'd want to frame you? I don't know who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's conspiracy. Oh! Sheriff Shinetop sure is a jerk, isn't he? No kidding. <laughs> Fester Shinetop is the meanest man on Melee Island. Luckily, the governor keeps him in check most of the time. We used to have a fair, decent man for a sheriff, but he recently died under mysterious circumstances. Hmm. If you ask me, I think the new sheriff had something to do with it. Uh -oh. I think you've said enough, Otis. Whoops. I hope you haven't been taking this filthy vagrant too seriously. He'd say anything to avoid paying his debt to society. He seems innocent to me. Why don't you let him out? <laughs> Maybe you should mind your own business, stranger. I'll decide who's innocent and who's guilty around here. Sorry. Look, I don't know what you're up to. But whatever it is, it's probably illegal. Probably. So forget it. <laughs> Wherever you go on Melee, I'll be watching. And if you try any monkey business, you'll end up in here for good. 
He's very aggressive. Man, you see a pill or what? You <clears> see <throat> what I have to put up with? You better go before you get his body in trouble. Yeah, I'm not really done talking. Look, I like visitors and everything, but I don't have much more to say. All right, we are done. Plus, talking. my throat's getting dry from all this talking. Why don't you go find someone else to talk to? It's not like I'm the only pirate left on the island or anything. Right. I think it's time to leave town. So the reason Guybrush is a really unusual name. And the reason that he was named that was because the sprite, you see the sprite that was used to actually portray him, was called uh, Guy. The file name of the sprite was called Guy before he had the name. And the extension for the sprite was Brush. So he was the file name was Guy.brush. So they started to call him Guybrush. And it stuck. So now it is time to wander to the cliffside. And there's our friend the lookout. Do you ever wonder if we're all just the characters in a novel? That's just what to ask someone Yikes. walking up to him. <laughs> oh, you almost scared me to death. I thought you were a... Oh, never mind. Uh, what did you say your name was again? <laughs> Let's Just call me Squinky. Okay, Squinky. Who are you? I'm the lookout of Melee Island. I watch the ocean for approaching storms and ships and report them directly to the governor. She doesn't like unexpected visitors, especially not now. He's blind. How did you get to be the lookout when you're obviously blind as a bat? Watch your tongue. I was handpicked by Sheriff Shinetop. Yeah. I'm over here. Huh? Oh. Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors? Actually, it's the expected visitors we're worried about. Yeah. One pirate captain in particular. A dead one, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. He might have seen who that is. I'll just be off to seek my fortune now. Good luck! <clears throat> right. So this is Melee Island. So there's a clearing, and an island, and some lights. Let's go to this clearing. Oops. Ah, the circus. I can't reach it. Yes, you can. I'm oh. getting the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can do it. I hurt my hand. There we go. Came in the lions last Sorry week. Sorry about that. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Raffian! Flop! <laughs> Weasel! Weevil! Miscreant! <laughs> Toby! I'm selling these fuck. Say there, son, how do you like the chance? A once in a lifetime a chance. To perform an amazing feat. A death defying a feat. Well, not so death defying, really. Uh, dangerous a feat. No. Not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. <laughs> Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well known. Fabulous. Flying. Ferrucini brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Sound good? Oh. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? 
Yes. All you have to do is get in the cannon, and we we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room. It's quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? How much will you pay me? How about 478 pieces of eight? <laughs> That's perfect. Okay, sounds good. <clears throat> have you got a helmet? Yes, I do. Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure that it's a safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No sorry. All right. Let's give the pot is a good helmet. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, son. Now put on your helmet and get in the cannon, and we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! Ah! <laughs> it works! Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? <laughs> Is all right! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here is your money, sir. Just the recompense for aiding us. Excellent. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me! <laughs> no, me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Ruffian. Fop. Fop! Perfect! 479 pieces of eight. That is excellent. Okay. Let's go to these lights. Oh, there's a troll. Stop! You must pay a toll. Stand aside, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. <laughs> You're no pirate. <laughs> well, the town drunk could out insult you on his back. And probably would. Stick it in your ear, you great green garrulous grub. Um. Uh. uh <laughs> which ear? Cudgel breath. <laughs> You can't pass until you pay the toll. Okay. Oh, please, can't I pass? Oh, boy, do you sound like a wimp. I don't like wimps. None shall pass. All right. None actually, I, I know pass. what to do here, but actually I want to go back to town because we can actually get a little further now. We have some money. So that's what we're gonna do. The music in this game is absolutely excellent. Created by a composer called Michael Land. I'm unaware if you've done anything else than the soundtrack to these games, but it is absolutely classic, more or less all of it. The opening theme, of course, uh, but also the Chuck's theme is, is amazing. Okay, we have so much money that we can buy the treasure map. Excuse me, but the now it's only you again. Yeah. Come back for the map for the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, huh? Absolutely. I hope you brought enough money this time. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You made a wise decision. Now get lost. Will do. So next up, the shopkeeper. To buy a sword and a shovel. I've 
got my eye on you, boy. Steal anything and I break your legs. Mm hmm I'll just find the pickup. The sword and the shovel. Actually, let me just go, try one thing. Controls. So Can I help you? No? Okay, yeah. So it is just scrolling through them. I'll take the shovel and then we'll go talk to the shopkeeper. What do you think do you this is? A museum? About this about sword. About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want take it. it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? The shovel. About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But <laughs> hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> <laughs> what else do you want? That's it. I think I'd just like to browse. Okay, but don't put your lips on anything. So that was it. We have a sword now. So it's time to go out exploring, see if we can. We also have a shovel and we have a map, so we should go and find the treasure. So let's start with that. So let's do exactly that. So we will walk to the cliffside. And walk to the path. And there's a fork in the road. And now we also have s pirates roaming around. Move out of the way or I cut my way through. <laughs> let's just leave them on the way. We'll we'll need these later on, but not you. right now. I'll right now, we just want to get to the fork. There. Okay. So let's have a look at our treasure map. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like dancing lessons. Okay, so it is back, left, right, left, right, back, right, left, back. Very well. So back. Oh, yellow flowers. That's the ones that are illegal to pick, so we'll of course pick them. Good. Left. Oops. And right. And left. And right. And back. And right. Left. And back. go what do we know the legendary lost treasure of melee island 
This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. <laughs> Leave some for the next person. Here lies treasure of such unimaginable wealth. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. <laughs> Paid for by the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. Very nice. So, let's do it. Dig take master, our new you only shovel for serious let's treasure hunting enthusiasts. Take our shovel and use it. There we go. Use the shovel with the X because it's no, this shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t-shirt. <laughs> Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. There we go. So we now got... I found the treasure of Melee Island and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. Excellent. We completed the first of our three quests. We found the treasure. And I need to stop doing that. There we go. Okay. So let's go to the village and the pirates and show them our new t-shirt. So one down, three to go. Give the t-shirt to the pirates. Well, I discovered the lost treasure, eh? You're a clever boy. You may keep the sheep t-shirt. We have plenty. I'll just be running along now. Check. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Okay. Well. What we need to do now... What I want to do now is that I would like to go to the governor's mansion because we have those poodles, but we also have the illegal yellow flowers. So if we actually use the flowers with the mutton, we actually have some meat with condiment. And that might help us get past those poodles. Go there. There is no fast travel option in this old game, so we'll just have to do right. Okay. So we will give. Give the meat to the poodles. Important notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. I am so happy to hear that. Excellent. So we can now go and steal the idol of many hands.
Look at the painting. A priceless Ming. Let's take the vase. Nice. Let's open the door. This looks like a job for Fester Shine Top. Oh no. Eh, better leave this here. <laughs> so hypnotize quarrels some rhinoceros. <laughs> All right. No. Push the red button. The red button. <laughs> Look at the tremendous yak. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. Push tremendously, then you should look at the yak. I can't move it. Pull tremendous, then you should look at the yak. I can't move it. Pick up stable remover. Use stable remover on tremendous dangerous looking yak. Walk to books. Pick up manual of style. I'll need this. They must be nuts. <laughs> Pick up wax lips. Walk to Let's see. Rock. Gophers. Pick up gopher repellent. Use gopher repellent with gopher. Use gopher repellent with another gopher. Use gopher repellent with gopher horde. Use gopher repellent with funny little man. <laughs> Look at Fabulous Idol, that's the one we're it's gonna steal. It's beautiful. I can't open it. Can't open the lock. Uh oh. Pick up the heavy chair. Use the heavy chair with Sheriff. That should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. All right, so we need a file. So we need a file. Let's maybe go and have a little chat with our friend here. <clears throat> Our friend in the prison. Would you happen to have a file? You think I'd be in here if I did? <laughs> All I have is this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats. I can't stand carrot cake. All right. But our adventures in there gave us a stable remover, the manual of style, the wax lips, and gopher repellent. So that could probably help him get rid of the rats. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. Excellent. Because we take this nice cake and then we open it. And what's inside? A file. Excellent. So let's go back to the mansion. Good thing we got past the gopher horde. I don't hope we meet it again. I don't hope. I hope we don't meet them again since we just got rid of our gopher repellent. All right. Let's do it. 
I've got the file. Yeah. Use manual of style with shredder. Give stylish confetti to heavily armed clown. <laughs> Throw wax lips in fire. Right? Use file on rhinoceros toenails. Use file on luck. Pick up fabulous idol. We got it! That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh-oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. <laughs> Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. Okay, the parallel is we should do it. Belongs in a museum. Indiana Jones reference. I was just going to borrow it. Let's maybe take that. I was just going to borrow it. Ah! What's going on here? Well, there she I is. caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says he was just borrowing it. That's right. I loaned it to him. What? <laughs> you heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Fester. <laughs> I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So, you were just going to borrow it, eh? <laughs> well... Well... Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me. You're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. Golly. Golly. My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... Sweet. Aw. Girl. I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit chat, are you? Oh. I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do. I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Oh, it's heartbreak. Bull. Listen to I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Poor guy. All right. Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? Uh. Buzz off, Fester. Fester. I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. Uh-oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droopface <laughs> or whatever your name is. Uh-oh. Hmm. 
This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. All right. So we down here. There's a deadly meat cleaver there. Reach that from here. I can't reach that from here. It's razor sharp scissors, and a rusty knife. I can't reach that from here. I can't reach that from here. A hacksaw and everything. Well, let's ponder what to do. And uh, while we do that, I'm gonna go make a cup of coffee. So I'll be back. By the way, you can also skip 10 minutes in the video if you don't want to see what's going on next. But I'll be back. Hey, Nick. I just committed a felony. Did it involve that big knife you've got there? <laughs> yeah. What should I do with it? Well, get rid of it. I'll throw it in the water. No, don't do that. Why not? I need to ditch it. It might wash up somewhere. What do I care? My prints won't be on it. I'm throwing it in. I might need it. See ya. See ya. And I'm back with a cup of tea. I just thought of one thing that actually is a little important. I think I'll just save my game. It had auto save, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal. So what's gonna happen now is that I'm going to speed up the video. I'm just gonna wait a little bit more and then I'll explain what is actually going on if you maybe you haven't already figured it out so the video will be sped up now and we'll talk again in a few seconds i guess That is, ladies and gentlemen, the only place in Monkey Island where you can actually die. So, basically, he told us in the beginning that he can hold his breath for 10 minutes, that's his thing. So if you actually wait for 10 minutes while underwater, he will actually die. And so you really need to do it, and it's of course so, um, yeah. It's, it's such a nice little Easter egg, and I thought that you just um, you should just see it. So, uh, well, there's nothing else to do than to load our game. And actually, let's solve this puzzle. So we are here on the bottom of the water, and there's all these sharp objects that are outside of our reach. But how about just maybe picking up the idol? 
guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. Cool. Well, that wasn't so hard. Now all I have to do is show this stupid idol to the pirate leaders and... You're alive! Governor! Hey, you can talk. <laughs> Who'd have known? What are you doing here? Come to finish the job? No, I came down here to save your life. Festa wasn't acting on my orders when he threw you in there. Uh, you came down here to rescue me? I, I didn't even think you liked me. Well, our first meeting was a little awkward. You seemed to have trouble forming complete sentences. Yep. But then again, so do most of my citizens. But I'm not one of your citizens. I'm just a drifter. A nobody. A would-be pirate. Who would have known or even cared if you'd let me drown? I would have, Guybrush. Oh, Governor. Oh, Threepwood. Oh, oh Elaine. Oh, Guybrush. Love Muffin. Sugar Boots. Honey Pumpkin. Plunder Bunny. <laughs> Kiss me. No, we mustn't. What? Not here, where everyone can see us. Why? Are you ashamed of me? No, no, it's not that at all. It's just that many of these pirates have made advances towards me. And to avoid hurting their feelings, I've always told them that my father made me promise never to fall in love with a pirate. If they see us together, they'll know I was lying. Okay, then. Let's go to your place. Okay. But finish your trials first. I don't want you to be preoccupied. But... I feel this sudden urge to complete the trials. <laughs> All right. Well, let's complete the trials then. We have the idol of many hands. That was the trial of thievery. So let's go and show it to the pirate leaders. Have a look here. Alright. Leave us to our grog. Yes. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Will do. Alright, so the last trial is that we need to master the sword. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out back to the island. And then go and have a little visit to that troll we met before. And I should not do that. go and let's go towards the lights hello troll stop you must pay a toll how, how much, much is the toll? toll well what have you got A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. Something that will attract attention, but have no real importance. I'll try to find something like that. Bye. You that have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat ya. All right, let's just for fun try to give him other things because attract attention but no real importance is a red herring. But let's try to give him I some. Have 204 pieces of eight. Yes. You can't pass until you pay the toll. Look behind, Look behind you, a mouse. You, a mouse. 
I'm not falling for that. Scuttle along, you scurvy sea slug. None shall pass. Okay, so give money. None Dear shall pass. With such a paltry amount. That was not good enough. And let's take the minutes. None shall pass. That's pretty useless. But it's not what I want. Okay. Let's take the shovel then. Or the rubber chicken. None no, the breath mitts. Stone remover. None shall That's pass. That's pretty useless. But it's not what I want. That was three chances. Can't pass until you pay the toll. Shouldn't you have eaten me by now? By now? Shouldn't you have eaten me by now? I'm not hungry. <laughs> okay, let's give him the red herring so we can move on. None shall pass. Oh, a red herring. Pass. And that's George Lucas, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So there are the lights here. Welcome to Stan's previously owned vessels. I'm off searching the globe right now for the finest in previously owned marine transportation. Have a look around. I'll be right back. Stan. All right. Stan's previously owned vessels. We'll get back here again. But not... Oh my god. Let's go to this house instead! Captain Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Sword training. 30 pieces of weight. Cannon firing. 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook. 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. All right, a pirate gym. Excellent. I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? Uh, let's just jump right to it. Could you train me to be better than the swordmaster? Better than the swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said, But I digress. <laughs> you just don't have what it takes. I do. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. <laughs> of course, it'll cost you. What do you got? 30 pieces of eight? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, <laughs> you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business... I got no choice. I need the money. Yes. I can see this is going to take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. Uh-oh. It's only because I feel that special student-mentor pieces of eight bonding <laughs> that I'm going to these lengths. I'm going to put you up against the machine. The machine? 
Oh, oh. This gonna hurt. Yikes. Come at me. Don't be afraid. You won't hurt me. Watch your footwork. <laughs> distance, distance. Watch your footwork. Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repost. Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repost. Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm going to let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's got to be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay. Imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with... I am rubber, you are glue. I am rubber, you are glue. I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like... How appropriate! You fight like a cow. You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with... <laughs> How appropriate. You fight like a cow. No, no, no. <laughs> that was the response from the last insult. Doesn't even make sense when used here. <laughs> oh. A correct response to soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab would have been something like first, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. Well, we got some I'm training. Sure you're feeling something similar. We got some training, that's for sure. And now, one of the stables of Monkey Island insult sword fighting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna you can see all these pirates rummaging around. We're gonna. Go and meet up with them, and then we're gonna fight them. Just need to find one more that actually. Let's just stay here. Move out of the way. Hello. I cut my way through. My Prepare name to is die. Prepare to die. Streetwood. Prepare to die. Okay. So we have these two insults right now. So what this is about is that I say insults, and then, uh, and then I we learn the responses basically. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Oh, I am rubber. You I didn't know this one. That means that now I get to say the next insult. But since right now I want to learn new insults, I'm gonna say one of the weak ones. Like, boy, are you ugly? What an amateur insult! Yes, that means that now he will give a insult to us. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Oh, that was new. Oh yeah. This is all fine. That was one new. You have the manners of a beggar. Yeah, two new. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I give up. You win. Perfect. So we got new insults. So now we need to know what the answers to those insults are. I just need to find a pirate that we can fight. Move okay. out of the way, or I cut my way through. Yeah. Ever notice how all these roads start to look the same? 
Yeah, now that you mention it, they do. <laughs> uh, it's probably just that we're tired. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, let's see if this guy has some insults to our new, or some answers to our new insults. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Oh, yeah. Ah, he didn't know that. You have the manners of a beggar. I'm shaking. I'm ah, shaking. come on. So let's hope that he can give us some new ones at least, because we already know the answers to the soon you'll wear, wear my sword like a shish kebab and dairy farmer. Dairy farmer, so Boy, I'll just take one of the amateur ones. Ha! Is that the best you can come up with? Let's hope that he gives us a new one. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. Perfect. I am rubber, you are glue. <laughs> You have the manners of a beggar. Yeah, and I don't know the answers to this one. Oh, yeah? I give up. All right. You win. New one. One more. Aye, oh, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, we have several ones now. So let's take them from the top. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why did you want to borrow one? Check. We got that one then. I've heard you were a contemptible snake. I do not know that one. I am rubber, you are glue. You have the manners of a beggar. I don't know the oh, answer to that yeah? one either. I give up, you win. Okay. We have a long list of new insults now. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? Scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay. Let's take this one. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Yes. You have the manners of a beggar. Yeah, I don't know that one. Oh, yeah? There are no words for how disgusting you are. Oh, yeah? <laughs> All right. Uncle, uncle. We need replies. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is... Oops. Ah! Ah! Guybrush Threepwood, prepare to die. Okay. Manners of a beggar. You have the manners of a beggar. I oh, am rubber. You are glue. Did not know it. Take another one. Uh, I'm not going to take your insulin sitting down. I'm not going to take your insulin sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? Yes. You make me want to puke. Oh, yeah? That was new. I'm not going to take your insulin sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring Your up again. Are flaring we just up heard again, that. Huh? All right, so we get to ask one more. There are no words for how disgusting you are. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. Yes. You just never lined them. Yikes, nice move. All right. Next one. Move out of the way, all right. Cuts my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay. Uh, you make me want to puke. Oh, I am rubber. I you didn't know it. Glue. And. 
The manners of a beggar? You have the manners of a beggar. I don't think beggar. we have that one. Oh, I am Rabbi, you are glue. I didn't know it. Uh, there are no words for how disgusting you are? Did we get that? There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learn them. Perfect. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Yes. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. Yeah. I give up. You win. But we're not good enough yet. Hey, this better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, let's see. We don't have the answer to you make me want to puke, do we? Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. Perfect. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. No, we don't know that one. Oh, yeah? You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Uh, have you stopped wearing diapers yet? We do have that one. Why do you want to borrow one? We got that. And this one as well. The manners of a beggar, we still don't have that. You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Perfect. Yikes, nice move. Good. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name I is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay. Uh... This one we have, this one we have. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me and no one ever will. We nobody's don't have Nobody's ever one. drawn blood from me and nobody ever will. I'm shaking. Ah, goddammit. Know it. So. Insula sitting down, we have that. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Did we get that? Oh, I, I lose track. <laughs> there are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Uh, have you stopped, have wearing, you stopped diapers wearing diapers yet? Oh, you rubber, you are glue. I give up, you win. Very well. Next, move out of the way, or I cut my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, 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 okay. We need... Nobody's ever drawn blood from me and nobody ever will. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me and nobody ever will. Oh, I'm shaken. Ah, come on. I'm shaken. Uh... There are no words for how disgusting you are. Oh, I'm shaking. Okay, this guy doesn't know anything. Have you stopped wearing diapers so. yet? Oh, yeah. 
Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. Yeah, probably right that I actually am. So that's normally what okay. happens that when I have learned enough. Fun. But I still want just to have it finalized. There's a few Geiber that we don't have. Prepare to die. So this Nobody's one. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast. There we go. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, <laughs> and nobody ever will. I just said that. You run that fast? I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Yeah, we got that one. Does he have a new one, or...? There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. Oh, I am rubber. You All right. Are glue. I think we'll take wow. our chances with the Swordmaster. Sword but we need to find her, first of all. And the way we're going to do that is the person that we do know knows where the Swordmaster lives. So let's go and have a visit to our good old friend, the shopkeeper. The poor shopkeeper. Right. Seems like it's always ten o'clock on this island. That it does. Okay, shopkeeper. I've got my eye on you, boy. Hello. Steal anything and I break your legs. Yes. What do you want? I'm looking, I'm for, looking the sword for the master. sword master of Melee Island. Yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that one again. <laughs> oh, please. I won't steal anything this time, I promise. Hmm. That's the truth. I guess I could hike all the way over there again. Be right back. I've got my eyes on you, weasel boy. Don't try anything. Likewise. Let's open the door. And there he goes. Ooh. Let's follow. Let's not lose sight of him. Okie dokie. Sneaky. There we go. I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on the uh, business. This kid, come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. 
You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. All right. We found the Swordmaster. Time to see if we're good enough at inside full sword fighting. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission? Which I surely didn't give you. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I must talk to you. I doubt that. Everyone who comes here is prepared to fight. Let's be honest. You're here to prove yourself to the pirate leaders in hopes of one day being as immoral as they are. Yep. Nailed it right on the head. Gee, you're smart. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. If your brother's like you, better to marry a pig. Yeah, that's the thing. Her insults are different, but our answers should suffice. So how appropriate, you fight like a cow. How appropriate, you fight like a cow. No? I hope you have a boat ready for a quick escape. Why did you want to borrow one? Why did you want to borrow one? Yeah, that looks good. I will milk every drop of blood from your body. How appropriate, you fight like How a cow. Appropriate. That must you be fight right. Like a cow. Yes. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. You run that fast? Yeah, I think that's the one. You run that fast? Yeah, that was good. My tongue is sharper than any sword. My tongue is sharper than any sword. Hmm. My tongue is sharper than any sword. Well, I wanted to make sure you'll feel comfortable with me. I don't know. I may... I don't think we have all of them. I can't remember, but uh, yeah. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. No, that was not good. There are no clever moves that can help you now. There are no clever moves that can help you now. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. My wisest enemies run away at the first sight of me. Even before they smell your breath. And I don't have that one! Ah! That's one of the ones I don't have. I just remember it. Oh, God damn it! No. Oh, well. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. And I'll be in real trouble if you ever use them. That's also someone we don't have. Ah, God damn it! We should have. I should have stayed on the road to learn, to learn the rest. How appropriate! Yeah, I'm gonna lose this one. You fight like a cow. Or maybe not. Only once have I met such a coward. Ah, okay, there are actually many that I, I because I think I, I know which one that is. I'm glad you attend your family relations or something like that. And I don't have it. So uh, we can't say anything oh, and we're going to lose yeah? this. I think we need to go out and get some more. Yikes, nice move. I hope this teaches you a lesson. Now scram. Yep. She got the best of me, that's for sure. Okay, back on the road. We need more insults and more answers. 
So that's the thing. They, they, they say you're good enough to fight the Swordmaster, and I could possibly, I could probably win. But, um, but you can still say stuff that I don't have uh, the answers to. So it's also more fun that way. Let's get... What you been yeah. rotten, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. So we just want Prepare the new insults from them. So we have all the answers to all the ones that we know. But let's just make... Yeah, of course we're not going to use the Swordmasters ones, because they are... Boy, are you ugly. That, that's unfair. I'm insulted. You'd even try to use that insult on me. Yeah, give me one that I don't know. Come on. Come on. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why did you want to borrow one? I am rubber. That's you not the one I want. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh. I am rubber, you are glue. I once owned a you're dog man. that was smarter than you. So let's see about that one. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Okay. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. Perfect. You make me want to puke. Yeah, I know that one. Oh, yeah? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I got that one. Oh, yeah? Next! Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! <laughs> Next one! What you there! You wanted, you scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay. Uh... We have the dog, we have everything. We actually just want to hear from him. What an idiot. I'm insulted you'd even try to use that insult on me. Oh, come on, give me a new one. A new one. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Nope, not that one. I am rubber, you are glue. I got this scar on my face yes. during a mighty struggle. Perfect. I am rubber, you are glue. The scar one. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your... All end. right, scar on my face. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Okay, let's hope that he has some new ones. What an idiot. I'm insulted. You'd even try to use that insult on me. People fall at my face yes. when they see me coming. That's also a good one. Even before they smell your breath is the answer. We just don't know it yet. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. So we have two now. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. So if I answer this one, I'm actually unsure, but if I answer this, can I then ask one of the new ones? First, you'd better stop waiting it like a feather duster. Okay, let's see. No. So, no need for that. You call yourself up. So, pirate. we need these two. I'm insulted. You'd even try to use that insult on me. The one with the scar and the one that the people I fall at my feet. Win. So, let's see with the next one. 
Move out of the way, or I cut my way through. My All name right. is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. So people fall at my feet. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Even before yes. they smell your breath. Got it. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Okay, then the scar on the face in the mighty struggle. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop yes. kicking your nose. You're no match for my oh, brain, excellent. you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them, is the answer. Perfect, so we got the one with the brains now. Let's get that one. This better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay. Brains. Brains, brains, brains. You're no match for You're my no brains. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble yes. if you ever used them. Perfect. All right. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why did you want to borrow one? Why did you want to borrow one? I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. All right, you knew that. You make me want to puke. You make me think someone already did. You make me think somebody already <clears throat> did. Okay, let's see. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I give up. You win. Yeah, I think we're good enough now. Let's try the Swordmaster again. And now I can just go through the forest. Very convenient. Very handy. Yes. Okay, let's see if we can do it now. I'm back, and boy, are you in trouble this time. Let's get this over with. Okay. I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. I got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. It could be I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Or maybe I'm missing one. But uh, let's I see. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. No, that was not right. But we can still win this. I let's usually see people like you passed out on tavern floors. Uh, I usually see people like you passed out on tavern floors. Even before they smell your breath? Even before they smell your breath? Yes. Now I know what filth and stupidity really are. Now I know what filth and stupidity really are. So you got the job as janitor after all is the answer, and I don't have it. You run that fast? Damn. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. You run that you fast? You run that fast? I hope you have a boat ready for a quick escape. Why, did you want to borrow one? Why, did you want to borrow one? My tongue is sharper than any sword. My tongue is sharper than any sword.
My tongue is sharper than its own. I hope you've now learned to stop picking your nose. Hmm. My tongue is sharper than any sword. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. <laughs> oh, I don't know. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. That was actually right. If your brother's like you, better to marry a pig. If your brother's like you, better marry a pig. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. No, that was not right. My name is feared in every dirty corner of this island. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Got it. I give up. You win. Well, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here. This should convince them. What do we get? We got a 100% cotton t-shirt. It says, I beat the Swordmaster. Cool. Well, off to the pirate leaders then. So confused. Hey, what are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped. Uh oh. What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. Well, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. So, where were you this whole time? Sleeping? Hey, I'm a lookout, not a bodyguard. Where did, Where did they, they go? go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. <laughs> you can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Okay, what does it say? Attention, Pirates of Melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. Okay. So, the governor has been kidnapped. That's not good. We need to go do something about it. <laughs> it's very empty now. All the pirates are gone, probably because of the chuck. <laughs> Let's talk to the cook. Where are all the pirates? <laughs> oh, they're all up looting the governor's mansion. <laughs> the governor is gone. The Chuck and his spectral crew came and got her. <laughs> they put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. <laughs> For a small consideration, of course. <laughs> What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. <laughs> what can I do to save her? <laughs> You must get a ship and go after her. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. <laughs> All you need to do is find a way there. Where can I get a ship? 
Why, Smiling stands you shipyard, same as everybody else. Excellent. Tell him I sent you. We're old friends. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. And your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now. Okay. <laughs> so, we have a new mission now. We need to get ourselves a ship. So let's go get one. Let's go and talk to Stan. Who is another staple of the Monkey Island games. Of course he wasn't at this point because this is the game that he was introduced. Being the first one. But hey, you get what I mean. Used Ship Emporium. <laughs> I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels, and I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, slow. You want it? I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're gonna leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So tell me, what are you interested in looking at today? Okay. So Stan is amazing. I love the fact that his the the squares on his jacket are always straight no matter what he does. And when he talks, he waves his arm around. It's it's absolutely cool. Alright. The best ship he's got. See the best ship you've got. Hey, it's nice to meet a man who appreciates quality. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Now this. This is a ship fit for a king. I mean, we're talking 15 staterooms, a fireplace in every one. We're talking two pools, one indoor, one outdoor. We're talking rotating ballroom. We're talking heated crow's nest. We're talking 200 feet of ocean-going decadence. And all for one low price. Speaking of price, what kind of price range were you thinking of? Uh. Oh, no more than 174 pieces of eight. I think we must be talking about completely different ships here. You've obviously been out of the ship market for quite <laughs> some time. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? Do we? Maybe credit? Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. Money is no object. <laughs> well, it is with me. How much you got? All I have is this rubber chicken. Is it one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? <laughs> I already got one of those. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? Not yet. On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Well, heck, I can understand that. Nothing yeah. wrong with being indecisive, even if it is a waste of my time. So, <laughs> what else can I show you? All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's um, 
Let's actually go to the boat that we are gonna buy from him. Something not too expensive, but built to last. Affordable quality. Hey, that's my motto. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Now I can see oh. you're a no frills kind of guy. But I can also tell that quality means a lot to you. I was wrong. I mean, just look at the way you dress. Rugged, like this baby. She comes from a land far to the north. That's not the Viking the ship, of course. As unforgiving as the men are tough and hey, you wouldn't happen to be from there, would you? You just seem to have a sort of Nordic quality about you. Wow. Anyway, we're talking about a real value here. Just how much were you looking to spend today? I uh, so this may not be the ship for me. No. Of course it isn't. You're looking for a much bigger boat. I can tell. So, what else can I show you? Uh I don't really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Yes. This is the one. This here is the famous Sea Monkey. The only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say anything? You see, the previous owners of the ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Yeah. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Just how much were you looking to spend today? Let's have a look. We might not need this uh, ship yet. Thought, Just yet. This may not be the ship for me. We need to go and get some okay, credit. But I got five other guys coming back to look at this baby today. Don't count on it being here if you change your mind. So, what else can I show you? Actually, I'll I'd like to we'll think, think about, about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. Yes. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. <laughs> I forgot to give you my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, sirree. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. I will. All right. So, we need to go to the shopkeeper and see if we can actually get some credit. So, let's do just that. We are actually, I think what we're going to do is say that we are coming close to two and a half hours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop for now and uh, we're back in episode two. So either stay tuned for that or um, yeah, thank you for, uh, for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Bye bye.